All right, welcome back. So we're going to finish this off now. Uh, one of the things that we need to make sure that we cover uh, before we make our graph is making sure we have a proper title on our graph. The best way to write a graph title is to write it in the uh, terms, the effects of blank on blank. So in this case, looking at our data, the blanks are filled in by the column titles. The titles on your data tables are, are, are what, going, uh, what is going to be used for your graph title. So in this case, it would be, what is the, the effect of water depth on temperature? The effect of depth on water temperature. And you would want to try and include uh, units whenever possible. Okay, so now we need to plot this data. So let's get right to it. The x-axis data is in the first column. Our first data point is zero. Here is the x-axis, and it corresponds to right here the value or temperature that corresponds to this is 22. So you go up the y-axis till you find 22, which would be halfway between 20 and 24. So you put that data point in there, use a small data point, and circle it. Then you go right to the second x value. In this case, it's 10. So when the scientists went down to 10 meters, they measured a temperature of 21 degrees. Now, 21 degrees isn't lined up perfectly, but you have to do a little bit of estimating. Right, so 21 would be about a fourth of the way. 20 degrees, uh, nope, sorry, 20 meters down in the water column gives you a corresponding temperature of 12 degrees. So you go up to 12, make the small data point, and circle it. Now we go to 30 meters, and that has a corresponding temperature of 8 degrees, it's very nice that these uh, values are happening to land right on our lines. But remember, if we had a depth of 25 meters, we wouldn't have to uh, put 25 on a line. We would just put our data point halfway between. But our next uh, data point or value is 40 meters, and that corresponds to a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius. All right. So now we have all our data plotted, but we do need to use a handy dandy straight edge or ruler to make sure that we connect our lines. That's going to give us our visual representation of the change over uh, the uh, variation in the X variable. So I connect those. And some of you may be familiar with best fit lines. Those are different from this, but um, we can look at our data in a visual representation without even looking at the numbers is we can see because this section right here is steepest, we know that this depth change has the most significant change in the actual temperature. So the temperature changes most rapidly between 10 and 20 uh, meters in depth. Now, uh, in other particular labs, when you might need a legend, if you have two sets of data, you might have a situation where uh, you have data for, this might be Lake Ontario, and you might have data for uh, uh, Lake uh, Onondaga. All right, so the data would be different and you could use different data points. All right, so maybe Onondaga Lake being a, uh, a shallower lake might have a warmer temperature. And I could use different shapes to show that data. All right, and I would have a legend or key off to the side to uh, indicate to the reader what that data represents. So you can use shapes, you can use colors, right? but you have to have a legend off to the side to tell you what that data represents.